And with all this catch on secret, they're gonna have trouble getting away from the spider, from the last. I'm getting involved. This S4 yeah, so bat is slow. gonna go down. I mean, wow. RTZ left the top lane. They should have noticed that had been Lena by herself for so long, and it's nighttime, so you might want to consider playing a bit on the S4 repeat, again. Baby. They'll get him down. One more shot. Uphill miss, though. Oh, gets it right there. It's going to be Mr. Chami, who gets another kill. Killing spree for your sniper. Mm -hmm. He had a, a, a set. Oh. I actually have the lead. 500 gold, 2,000 experience. They're in pretty good shape. Artesi will be the target of choice. They'll start to do the wrap around. Lena coming in. Cask is there to stop her dead in her tracks. Light Striker right coming on in. This should be a dead Artesi, and it is. Maybe Puppy will go down as well. It's a three-on-one now. Voodoo Restoration gets turned on. Big Num has about 10 seconds left of night. He's happy to dive this tower. Six armor. He's pretty damn tanky. They get another six to one. Secret getting clowned on. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Afterlife probably going to fall. Spider Babies put on top of him. And yeah, that's an arcane bolt for the win. Kuro gets a kill up there, but... Hells in comparison to the victory they found in that bottom lane. Now ZXC, well, he's going to get flame broken into the Roche pit. LSA off the mark, but no way to survive. So LS4 strikes back. He gets a kill. That, thing's a, that does make things a lot better for Secret because Secret, remember, they're finding their objectives. After they get kills, they continue to add pressure on these towers. The top tier one's going to be going down now. With a new little spiderling army coming up, they're going to plant themselves here and try to get it done. But the glyph will be popped at this point. Still no one close. Yasha into Manta, Basher, those kind of very yeah. combative items. And that feels very outdated. Did not work so well. So. It just depends how much value he puts into making split push Bob. objectives or making fights play. ZXC in some trouble. Bat Riders there. He's got a lasso, coconut to follow, and nothing the Lena can do about it. Just takes a nap on the fire, ends up going down. Meanwhile, top back lane. in the top lane, yeah, Big Num gets dove, and another Arcane Bolt will be all they need to finish him off. He's gonna die, TP into the tower. Oh, big reaction. Kuro certainly gonna fall here. We'll be showing me that gets credit for that one. So top lane is technically like the what position four for the position four night stalker during the day, which is not too bad. But they also got that Lena in the bottom lane, makes things a, a bit in favor here for Secret. Mm -hmm. And Zai is just gonna start making a home of this top lane. Whenever he can't make a push happen in the lane, he'll just move towards the M5 jungle and just take the farm away from there and really be a bit of a problem. So if he yeah. wants to build on this, get a necro book and just make sure that pressure's gonna- not gonna do that. They're gonna smoke and do it during daytime. Few, uh, few cares in the world right now as they roam on down. Smoke gets broken. They're scouted by the wolves. Arteezy and Puppy react accordingly and this should be Walk a failed away. smoke gank. I don't think they'll find anyone here. Maybe Seeker will even try and turn it around. See some pings coming out as Kuro rotates over. Bat Rider on his way. Still no Blink Dagger up on the bat, but S4 does have a lasso and can try to make something happen here. Wolves squishing him up. Flame Break tries to get Lena on the high ground and actually almost succeeds. There we go. ZXC pulled into the fire in the Mystic Flare. They find the kill. S4 forces out the Ravage and he still lives. He makes it to the high ground with the Firefly. Now the Big Bad Wolf is here. Arteezy with the movement speed is going to chase him down without a Ravage. He feels pretty safe. Show me. TP's in to try and turn some things around here, but Arteezy, he just runs on through, moves into the jungle, and it will be a two for nil. Great fight for Secret. I just felt like Moscow 5 were pressured to do something there. It's like, yeah, I know you, you probably are going to be going to this feeling like you're going to have the advantage in numbers because Zai is going to be his brood in the top lane, so you know you're going to be going against him. Have a nice balance there. Lena should be able to hold her own, but it's looking like it's just too much tilted towards the sniper who could be handled here as the smoke flies out. S4 takes to the skies, moves mid lane, gets the lasso pull back onto Chomi, and Chomi's gonna get silenced up and taken go. down, and there's your powerhouse net worth farmer easily handled, and they also will get the Night Stalker. Now, now in the jungle, they find ZXC. He's maledicted and ready to be brought down. Laguna on the puppy, but it's not enough damage. Three for nil as secrets start to hit their stride. You see the minimap being circled. A little frustration from the sniper there as he gets picked off his tower in the mid falls, and yeah. Secret just tightened that grip around the Moscow 5 next. I really appreciate Kuroki's classic triple null build. For many of the enemies for farming their own jungle, and he is making so much space right now, constantly occupying at least one or two members of this dire side. I mean, look at ZXZ. He's trying to kill yeah. his hard camp. This stupid little spider. spider -ling it's like, there. oh, you want? No, it's just nipping no, at this him. is our jungle now. And what's scary about this is for ZXZ, he doesn't really know, is that just oh, one spider? Yeah. <laughs> or is that the beginning of a whole army yeah. coming, to, coming to jump on me? And I, like, I pan over, and there's all of a sudden like a big brood army that they're to work with. Meanwhile, Puppy does get taken down on the yeah. bottom. Jump that on successful him. pick that does end up with a sniper pick. Yeah, but uh oh, here comes Arteezy. Goes to the shape shift. Does quickly grab at the bounty rune as Bignum wanted to grab it. Now Bignum, oh, he He's gets killed. Hit. Yeah, Arteezy finds a kill there. They had a pick off on Lena in the mid lane while that was happening.
Looks like Batrider deployed a lasso. And they're finding just pickoffs all over the place. This is Secret just splitting the map, and now their individual cores are- By Lasso, isolated by S4, four stabs him down into the Ancients area. So he is caught on the side of this ravine, another nice flame break to kind of slow him down, but now S4, he's gonna get punished, Laguna! Assassinate was coming as well, Puppy Ooh. there with a big coconut, Death War doing a lot of damage, they bring down the Venge, Big Num very low, all of M5 kind of on the back foot, there's no Ravage to be dealt with. Puppy ends up falling, Kuro as well. Arteezy now, left behind, the lag continues, he's got an Aegis, body blocked, he will fall, but meanwhile up top, Zai doing a little bit of rat and Dota. Yep. Why am I lagging so much, Valve, God damn it! Come uh, on, Arteezy, he's gonna try to TP out, he lives! Yep. Makes uh, it out, makes it I out. Dare reconnect again. Secret though, still getting the best of these engagements, even though they are down a man in the sense that Zai's just more obligated to get stuff done top, which obviously is understandable being his broodmother self. And the pressure continues to be built up. Tier 3 slowly getting withered down inch by inch at this point. And Moscow 5 get one of the biggest fights they could have been asking for. But yeah, my slideshow Dota is also... Yeah, you're getting it also. Maybe S4 is coming in. Oh, Blink's just a little bit short. Fireflies up, but will not find the initiation. Instead, flies to the high ground. Now he rotates down. He's going to bump into ZXZ. Hey there, oh there, hi there. Lena sets it up. LSA after the Yules. Laguna Ooh. S4 survives the onslaught. He barely lives. Now the Death Ward from the low ground. Puppy gets interrupted. And Renator, flame broken back down. He should fall off to the side. Yes, he does. Now Arteezy, ultimate online, chases down Big Num. Frickin' Zai. He is so damn fast. Zai gets a tier 3 tower while this is going on. ZXC, well, stuns Arteezy, but still dies. The Wolves chase down the Night Stalker. Now Afterlife says, man, I got my Ravage, but I'm silenced. Damn it. He's gonna die. Look at frickin' Zai. Nice base you got here, guys. I'm just gonna move in and take it all. Zai's like, hey, team, good fight. Uh, I got the barracks if you want to work on this. Ooh, Lycan ends up going down to show me. That's cute, but barracks in some trouble here now. The buyback from Lena. An obvious big team fight for Secret, a 1 for 4 overall, the top barracks will die, no glyph for another bit. Look how much they need to commit, committed just to take down Zai. It's not often that they're going to have that many committed to Zai, because now what happens is Secret just kind of work with middle lane, and add pressure still on top lane, but oh Afterlife, man. if he TPs Ooh. in, what a mistake that proved to be, Zai just blows him up, insatiable hunger makes it an easy pick. They did kill the Batrider in the jungle as we were watching that start to unfold. 20 to 18. It feels even if you just look at the hero kill score, but rest assured, it is secret that have control of yep. all things game one in this best of three series. Yep, yep, yep. As Zai will be able to spread out through this bottom lane, Arteezy's back in his jungle, farming it on home right now as his Necro 3. And about 1,800 gold now saved up. Still just kind of doing his own Ooh, thing. Smoke. They want to catch Zai. Do they have a gem? They do. They just picked it up. It's on Renator. Can they catch Zai off guard with this? This could be big. He big bought question. back recently. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. he sees it. It's been revealed. They didn't catch him. Uh oh. He should got be able TP. To here. Moves into the trees. They missed the LSA. Good He's night. Gone. So now they know He's top there's lane. a gem. And right back to it. God, BOTs with Necronomicon. He's going to Salt Curl. Other side of the river. That way, one secret, and they get Puppy back. They can still feel comfortable with being able to get a hold of this Roche. So that's why you feel like there's a lot of pressure that's still four, built on the bottom. Very Ooh. brave. We we'll get assassinated. There is a Ravage oh. here. They may burn it to find this kill. Do they? They do. Oh. It clips him. Very close. Right on the edge. Well, Ravage down. <laughs> that is the nine tentacle surprise right there. Secret could look to make a. He goes down. S4 is close, but is he going to be close enough to do Batrider things? They got to be careful of this. And it looks like the, with the Gatekeeper Big Num nearby on his Night Stalker, there's going to be no contention. And Moscow 5 will be able to take down the Roche and get their kill. Oh, they make it go into Zai. Catch him with the Yules. LSA not going to be there, and he's going to turn it right on into her and takes her out immediately. Insatiable Hunger heals him right back up. Now the rest of the fight breaks out. Witch Shocker dies on the backside. We're watching Zai over here. He'll win that duel. It looks like Kuro goes down to Chomi. Arteezy trying to finish him off. Oh! Arteezy will. That's the end of the ages. Zai did win the duel on the backside. There's only two left alive. It's Sniper that's come back to life. What a trap. And surround from the Spiders, he won't be able to pursue anyone. Yeah. And looking at that recap, it's a dead even trade. The age is tipping the scales to make it a break even instead of a loss for Moscow 5. Zai with a blink dagger. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. 
Green they're really gonna, they're really gonna wait, down. wait for Roche or something. They're gonna maybe cut them off along the way. S4. Ooh, Roche. could hop. Okay, there goes flight. Oh, he gets spotted immediately and shot. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh oh bad rider. He's gonna get shot down. He's dead. He's got a BKB on Assassin. Oh. They won't finish him off. It could have been a lot worse oh, for Secret there. They still man. get the initiation they wanted. Afterlife still holding on to the Ravage. Puppy going in. They killed Shomi. Skywrath. He gets credit for that one. It'll cost Puppy his life. Probably Curl as well. But so far, it's worth it. Of course, he has a buyback. Now the lasso comes out onto Lena. She goes down. They clear out the Venge. It ends as a two for three. Ravage was not used there by the Tide. So they oh. will have it for this high ground defense. And some buybacks are going to be used here. Yeah, yeah, Sniper uses his. 3v3 on the field. Lena and Venge are stuck in the grave, and with that secret, just back out. They put a lot into being able to get a hold of S4 there, but then Arteezy simply locks onto the sniper, and there's just not a lot to defend them. Asian, not a big deal this game. No blinds, of course, and I don't see anyone really getting a butterfly here. So I think the Daedalus is probably your best bet. Yeah. With those big numbers. Arteezy. An nice. open slot now. Is that his butterfly completed? Yes, it is. Oh, my. But at that same time, the Hex comes out for Broodmother. So yeah. they will have a tool to try and deal with it here. Secret rendezvous. They smoke up. No buybacks available for anyone. So if they manage yeah. to pick off the sniper, this could be a GG push. Could not be that hard. I mean, you have S4 Ooh. who's already looking to jump the gap to get a hold of him. But Zai also has a Abyssal blink and blade. a sheep. Blink and sheep. Yeah. So... Abyssal just came out on our TZ. Here we go. Ravage to get it started. Connects on at least three. Batrider Whoa. as well. Witch Doctor go down right away. Arteezy BKB on charges. There it we takes go. Laguna, but they bring down the bench. Can they get a few more? Big Nom slowed down, taking a lot of damage. It's Zai deep in the base, doing as much as he can, but he'll fall. The LSA is there. It's a one for three, and Moscow 5 take the fight handily. Very good initiation from them. The Tide Hunter with a Ravage on at least three heroes, if not four. They stall this out a bit longer. Now go to a 3k net worth swing. Able to kind of take advantage. They're just going to go right for the throne to oh, end yeah. this game. Oh, but yeah. secret. We'll see what they put more value into. Ooh, catch out on Zai here with the Yules. LSA, blink in Laguna, and they get him. Zai goes down. Gets caught out. 90 seconds, no buyback. M5 winning this war of attrition right now as they continue to find pickoffs. Really nicely done. With Zion the Grave, they can feel a little more brave here. It is nighttime. Big Numb cruising around, starts flapping those wings, opens up that mouth, and he is hungry. He's picked up an Agonims as well as a Halberd. Fill that mouth with bread. Are they going to bump into Puppy? No, looks like they bump into Kuro. Oh, this is going to be another pickoff here. I don't think Kuro can get out. Assassinate flies through. They should have more than enough damage to bring him down. Yep. He'll try to Ghost Scepter, but that's not going to help you against the Lina. Look who's in the mid, though. Arteezy able to clear out the Tier 3. It forces out a couple of rotations. He immediately gets the hell out of there when he sees those rotations come, but he's done a little bit of damage in there. Rax is now going to be exposed. Little chip. This is where things have come to, though, for Secret. Yeah. Moscow 5 handling, handling this near perfectly, it feels like, right now, but they need to be very careful. They're on this, like, fragile state where, oh, Swap breaks the lasso. ZXC may still be in trouble. Nice flame break from S4. Cheese gets eaten. He'll continue to chase him down, stacking up the sticky. They'll start to split up a bit more, perhaps, but S4 needs to be careful. Realizes they could turn on him, and he starts flying to the low ground. As even the Night Stalker rotates over. S4. Oh, he misses the blink. Oh, no. There's another fight breaking out at the same time. Down bottom, Arteezy dies to the sniper. We're going to stay true to the course up top. Big Num diving this tower. He's got the Lena behind him. Puppy. Ghost Scepter's there. And that just buffs up the Light Strike Array damage. Witch Doctor's dead. Secret falling apart. Now the blink over the tree line from S4. We'll get a kill on Big Num. Zai showing off the hex on the ZXC. They'll get a few recovery kills here. Lena goes down. And that is a gem that hits the deck. It's a fight that Moscow 5 did not have Sniper with. He was busy taking out Arteezy bottom lane and now taking out a tier 2 tower. So not too shabby for Moscow 5 to really hold their own yeah. with the others as Sniper was able to bring in a couple of more grabs. Well, at least they saw them for a moment. All right, they just go right for the barracks here. Necrobooks used. There is a dire glyph. That's forced out straight away. Now they're going on to the Tide. The Brood starts it off. BKB's on. Now the rest of the team starts to come in. Arteezy taking a lot of damage. The swap brings him down. 
Puppy. Ghost Scepter starts channeling the ultimate. It'll do a little bit of damage, but it's Zai in the base who has to TP out. They do get the barracks, though, here, Dakota. Yep. So even though they don't win the fight and they do lose two, pretty much just have to do that once more. And yeah. Mega Creeps are on the horizon. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's the game plan. It's hurl bodies at the racks. Get out while you can. Survive. Survive and thrive. And look to walk away with the win. Mm -hmm. They have the Surviving. pushing power. I mean, just the summons, the necro books, the howl. They have BKBs to kind of try to their best to withstand any sort of incoming trouble. But they could just throw their bodies at the base and get the job done there. They want to go for the megas. Well, in the mid lane, M5. Well, in the mid lane, M5 want this tier two tower. They need to be very careful. There's a bat rider pushing their bottom. Yep. Bye back, BOTs to the high ground. Yep. The rap begins. Meanwhile, back at the base, Zai, he interrupts one of the TPs. The Tidehunter can't make it back. He's got no way to get to the base. This is the play that Secret was waiting for. Here we go. One tier four tower remaining, no glyph. This is the defense they have to make. Arteezy, BKBs, the LSA. Meanwhile, on the other side, Tide left behind in a lot of trouble. He should go down here despite the Ghost Scepter. Everyone else on M5 will make it back. Kuro has his Ghost Scepter now. He'll live from the Sniper, but it looks like he will eventually fall. Afterlife, this guy is still alive. He ended up using both Ravages? Are you kidding me? I guess, I mean, he doesn't have money for a buyback. Maybe he bought out to that point. So. Maybe you just figure your. I mean, those are big. Those are game saving cooldowns. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Arteezy's waiting. I'm scared of handing it over to E Blade now up on the Skywrath Mage. That's nice when paired with the Ancient Seal. Secret need to push and make this happen if they want to go soon. Ra while Ravage is down, it's only 20 more seconds, and at least they'll have one up and ready to go. Oh, here we go. Jump onto ZXC. Cheap Stick's been used. There we go. Lasso across. He's in some trouble. He's isolated. Meanwhile, down bottom, Arteezy dies in a matter of seconds to the Rapier. Oh, no. That's the end of the Aegis. Now the swap out keeps Big Num alive. Arteezy's back, but Skywrath and D a Witch Doctor just get destroyed. The Scotty has hit Artor, and he is probably going to die a second time. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. It's a three for one. Buyback on the Lena. Now oh! Can't make the retreat. Ultra kill for Chomi. The Rapier living up to its name as Whoa. it cuts through Team Secret. Our Moscow 5 about to upset the big dogs. Another huge fight, huge defense. This guy right here, he's wearing a wolf hat, but he's, I, I don't know, he's an alpha. I, I have no reference. That he just, goddamn. It's just goddamn. He chop, chopped off Arteezy's head and put it on his own. <laughs> What's that? This is ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe they didn't anticipate the rapier, and mm -hmm. he take, he takes a few pot shots, and he's dead. Aegis is going to be down. He doesn't make it out. I love the little play right there from I Chomi. I wonder if they realized he had a rapier. I don't think Chomi was really pushing out the lanes. They might have just kept that completely quiet until it was revealed right there. So oh, man. Secret prop, maybe not ready for that. Here comes Chomi. Zai's there on defense. No buyback on Artur. He's out of the game for 40 seconds. This could be it. Moscow 5 moved to the high ground. You said no glyph. Do they just go tier 4s here? They might. S4 has a buyback. Does he use it, though? In goes Zai. Oh! And down he goes. He's buyback dead already. Goes. Instant buyback. All right. A second rapier. Oh. He's going all in with this. Oh, show me. Is this the play? There's the Ravage 1. Refresh Ravage 2. Connects on two heroes. Down goes the Skywrath puppy, probably soon to follow suit. Zai swapped back into the danger zone. Oh, Chomi's zone. in trouble. Oh, he's fine. Oh, boy. He lives. He's going to drop. He's got the second rapier. <laughs> They're going to do much. it. It's just too much. Moscow 5 are doing it. Oh, Lasso into the well. Secret on their last leg, doing anything they can to turn this game around. But Chomi says, I'm done mucking around, boys. I'm playing. Abyssal Objective Blade game. stun. He's oh. going to go down. Arteezy, can he bring him down? Oh. Chomi, he's still alive. Six HP. He's dead. There's rapiers on the deck. Who's going to get him? There's one just chilling on the ground. Get it, puppy. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh my God. No. Venge has one. The other one gets picked up by Puppy. Oh my gosh, they actually hold on, but now Chomi comes in. It's a rapier on the ground again. I don't think Secret had the resources to do it. Chomi's got another rapier. Now yeah, it's he's going. It's over. Uh, they got game it, number baby. one. Woo, Secret upset by Moscow. Five, S4. Wowie zowie. They've done it. Oh my. What the a rapier. rapier sniper proves too damn good. The range is just incredible when you get that rapier. They had nobody closed the gap. Batrider used that first lasso on the Lena. 
I think if they knew the rapier was there, maybe Batrider could have focused the sniper a little bit more, but the Lena was just not the target to go for. The double rapier. What a game! 55 minutes! It's Moscow 5 that takes it. Who would have thought?